Hey guys. So, I'm on the struggle bus lately. I have a lot of content that I wanna put out. Um, I just cannot get going, you guys. I, I don't have any energy. Since the time change. My whole everything have been off, has been off. Like we were having a really great run with Isaiah's, just his whole schedule was everything was good. Everything was just like perfect, smooth sailing. Um, I was going to bed on time because this year I was, I wanted to make sure I prioritize sleeping for me and putting that first because all last year, I did not sleep last year. I didn't sleep at all because I was just grinding. I was hustling. I was just, up working 24 7 I just you know I just had a lot going on last year and I wanted to make good moves last year as well so I sacrificed a lot of sleep and this year I was just like I can't do that I cannot do it um so yeah so since time has changed my whole everything has been off and when I say it's been off like I was going to bed at like 10 11 o'clock at the latest I'm a night owl so going to bed at 11 is very early for me but since then, like lately, I've been like going to sleep at like 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. It's been so bad not getting up until, well, I'll get up at like 8 or 9 or something like that because Isaiah will get up, then I'll go back to sleep. Then I won't get up till almost 11 and then I'm dragging the rest of the day. I have no energy. So like I said, it's not even I don't feel like creating. You get my video and I'm put you in it. I'm gonna put you in the video. Darren's deep conditioning his hair and he tried to get my video. Best you walk away. Some of y'all, y'all been following me, y'all been here. You know, I'm very, I'm brutally honest when it comes to motherhood. I'm worn out with Isaiah. I was, I just was so looking forward to him going to school and I was like ready. Y'all know I was ready. I was struggling mentally, just it's been mentally draining and, and now things are put on hold. And I feel like I am just like, I cannot take it some days. Like some days I'm okay, but some days I'm just like, <sighs> I'm trying to get into a better mental space with that and just accepting that he's not going at this point in time. You know, I was nervous at first with him going and oh, I don't want my baby to go to school. I don't want nobody. And then I was just like, okay, he's gotta go. How much I gotta pay? Let's find him a good school, find some good teachers. He's going Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, something, you know. And now he's not, and I'm just like worn out. I've been eating like crap. My skin is finally looking better. I'm gonna pimple right here. But it's finally looking better. Like the breakouts have finally calmed down. So what I'm doing is helping tremendously. So I hope to share my skincare with you guys because I like my whole like face. My whole everything just broke out. I think it was just a matter of stress and just how I was eating. I have tons of like new scarring everywhere that I did not have. So that was like stress on top of stress. I was stressed about stuff. So then more stress just led me to more breakouts. And then I got more breakouts leads me to more stress. And so it's finally coming under control. So that's great because if you don't look good, you don't feel good. Well, that at least for me, so. I mean, things aren't that different for me because I'm at home all the time, you know what I mean? However, because I'm, I've been at home all the time and, you know, for years now, it's just been me and Isaiah and then, you know, we only have one car. So, I'm during the week, Monday through Friday, me and Isaiah are at home pretty much all the time. And so, the weekends were times where we can get out. We look forward to getting out and had stuff to do, could run errands and blah, blah, blah. And so that was kind of like our our day to day and not being able to do that we've been like trapped in this house for four weeks now and it's been like it's starting to wear on me it is it's starting to really get to me a little i don't even want to say depressed because there's nothing really to be depressed about you know what i mean but at the same time i'm just like oh my god the weather lately too has been rainy the past two days the sun was trying to come out today but it was like forget it i ain't coming out so that was that if i could just focus on my sleep schedule trying to eat a little bit better than i know and getting some exercise 
if I could just focus on those three things for like the next two weeks probably then I know everything else will just kind of work out I'll feel better about everything but I can't even get myself going lately to like even change my way of eating today I'm gonna have Zoe's kitchen maybe have a Greek salad I'm like okay that's a start because we got to start somewhere <sighs> I don't know is anybody else feeling like this like just I'm in the, I don't even want to call like a, a slump or something but I feel like I am and there's really no need to be in it because you know I've got my health we're not struggling we're not there's there's really no need I just am just I want to go on vacation I'm really bummed that this year Darren and I were supposed to like actually this was our vacation year. It's actually supposed to spend time together for my birthday last week or this week. Yeah, last week. Um, we we're supposed to be in a resort for the weekend, just like resort, going nowhere in our robes, getting massages, chilling, enjoying each other's company. So I was really down about that. We wanted to go somewhere later on this summer, like because we have not been anywhere in like years. It's very frustrating for me because we need we need that you know time together. I'm supposed to go somewhere with my sister this year. That's not happening. I mean, I don't think anything's happening. I don't. I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna at least wash my hair. I haven't washed my hair since I straightened it, and now it's time to wash it because it's a little itchy. And then we'll probably order some Zoe's. I'll eat. Then probably take some z -Quil, to be honest with you guys, so that I force myself to fall asleep early. Get some good rest so that I can be up in the morning early and get some work done. So I think that's how the rest of my day is going to go. It's 4.55. I will be back. All right, you guys. So just finish the shower. I actually feel better. <laughs> um, I'm going to just deep condition my hair. Um, it's feeling super, super, super dry. So I'm gonna use the Mayel um, deep conditioner. I'm actually gonna mix both of these together. Don't know why I'm mixing these, I just feel like it. that on a deal. Dollars a pop for conditioner. It's crazy. <sighs> Good old natural hair companies looking out for us. So I decided to hold off on a my skincare regimen because I just did a like my light um, Peter Thomas Roth like my light peel that I've been doing twice a week I just did that last night and my skin is look it's like very dry right now and I really don't need to do much of anything to it because be careful um, I didn't wear any makeup today or nothing like that I have some scarring right here Isaiah you're moving the camera all on this side from my when I was breaking out and I've got scarring on my forehead. But all in all, my breakouts have calmed down completely and I'm super happy about it. So I'm gonna use this Peter Thomas Roth. Peter Thomas Roth is one of my absolute favorite companies. Um, so I'm gonna use this cucumber gel mask. This is great. It's a cooling, not cooling treatment. You can't put it in the refrigerator, but um, it's cucumber. You know, cucumber is always soothing, gentle, um, hydrating kind of mask. You can use this after you know you get peels, waxes, any kind of facials, um, extractions, anything that's like really harsh on the skin. This is a really, really great mask to use. I'm gonna do this for 
I don't know, until I feel like taking it off, honestly. It's not like it's gonna hurt it. So I'll probably leave this on. It says 10 minutes. I'll probably leave it on for like 20 minutes or so. What you do to your face, you need to do to your neck as well. This is on my blue shirt. Hmm? My blue shirt. Isaiah wants to show y'all his blue tiger shirt. His, these are actually his pajamas. Okay, scoop. Okay, so here we are. I think I'm just gonna order some Zoe's Kitchen. I feel like I need some veggies, you know, some something good in my system. Um, this mask is like, my skin is soaking it up. I can feel it like just sinking in. Love it. Anyways, I have some water. So this is just crystallized um, lemon and lime. It's from True Lemon and it says one package equals one wedge, zero calories, zero sugar. Um, and it tastes like, like it's perfect just for adding into your water or whatever you need. I actually added in the lime when I made margaritas last time because we didn't have enough, like I use lime juice in my margaritas. We didn't have enough or I wanted some more lime flavor. So I just added in like two packs of this. So what I typically do like for one bottle, I don't need that much flavor. Say so one packet is good for like two or three bottles of water. That's what I try and do. I mean, you add whatever you need, but I don't have any fresh lemon. Um, we used it all when we did our seafood boil and I haven't, you know, got any more to the store. Yes, we did. So I haven't gotten any more. So my mommy, daddy didn't get no more because, they, because we, we only have two more. Okay. So um, I didn't get any more lemon. I do prefer fresh lemon, but this is, I just need it for the flavor. So it's all good. I'm not tripping about it. Um, I'm going to sit outside for a second. I normally wouldn't. But since I have to get back in the shower, and, ooh, that, see, that may be too much. Since I have to get back in the shower anyway, so wash my hair out, I'll just wash my body again. No big deal. <laughs> shake, 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 and bake. Shake it up. Give Isaiah some water. Here you go, sir. You can see my eyes too. Good, I'm trying to drink it. <sighs> Clearly, I'm, I think I'm dehydrated. Maybe that's my problem too. Who ain't drinking enough water, ain't getting enough sleep. I think I'm going through early menopause. Mine tastes like regular. I guess this mainly goes for like my stay at home moms. <sighs> the iPad can be your savior, <laughs> you know, like it, it definitely helps, but I try not to get him like I try not to let Isaiah stay on it all the time but as of lately we've like done stuff and we've done stuff we go outside and it's really still just me because Darren is working you know he has to work from home and so I'm just like it's even harder because someone else is still here and it's different when he'd be like away at work but he's still here he's still working and I'm still you know I still got to do everything that I've been normally doing which is fine you know I'm not complaining or anything like that this is my normal day to day But, you know, it's just kind of like some days when I need a break, I will just let him, I'll let Isaiah just be on the iPad and he will have marshmallows for breakfast and we will survive the, the next day. You know what I mean? And then some, some mornings he's having fruit and this and that and, and we're doing this and we're up and at it and, and, you know, we're just going and it's just, it's, a call, it's all balance. It's all balance. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody else feeling this way? Just tired. I totally understand the stay home, being at home, being quarantined. Um, but I will admit, yesterday we did go to Darren's mom's house. <gasps> we left at like two o'clock and we stayed over there to almost 10 o'clock at night. We took a nap over there. Her and Isaiah played and Darren's grandfather is, is, is a little sick. So he is in the hospital. And she just wasn't feeling her best, so I hope she she was, I think she was excited to see us. We just had to get out. Like, that was just, I was like, we kept being in this funk. Isaiah just was just like bored out of his mind. I, we were just like wasting our days. 
because we weren't being we weren't we just weren't being productive and i don't mind like having days of just not being productive because you need it like i said it's all balance you need those days where you don't do anything you know but when i start to feel exhausted because i haven't done anything and i'm sleepy all the time and i'm just eating whatever and just all this stuff then i know that i need to make a change and so we just had to get out the house and it was really nice to get out the house um yesterday we are back in it now and um has anyone else left <laughs> who you said you weren't going to um i i know it sounds horrible i know we shouldn't have but we just we had to we absolutely had to um we have been walking around the neighborhoods and riding bikes all the time and i think as it was just like over that because at one point he loved, you know, he still likes to go on his bike rides, but he doesn't want to go as far anymore. Yeah, I commend my little person. You know, like I said, this is this is hard for the little people too. Um, so, you know, you kind of have to remember them and you have to remember that, you know, we weren't taking classes in elementary online. You know, if this were to happen to us, it's the first time for everyone having to do this. So you got to cut them some slack as well. You know, just it's a balance. Like every day is not going to be perfect. They're not going to get their work done every day. It's okay. You know what I mean? As long as it's not, you know, 10 days in a row, you know, that's totally different in my opinion. But you know, some days they'll be on it. Some days they just won't. You know, this is an adjustment, which I hope, you know, we will be getting past it soon. But if we don't, then, you know, you just have to keep rolling with it. I thought I ordered my kebabs, not kebabs, my roll-ups, which was my whole point on getting Zoe's kitchen today. But I guess I didn't. I think I accidentally ordered regular old kebabs. They look a little, look a little, little burnt, but they're not. It's actually really good today. I got a Greek salad. And it's my first time trying this turmeric rice, but it's not bad. So yeah, then I have a couple of sauces over here. And we're watching Aladdin. did last night was finish watching like the Jordan the last dance Jordan thing that came on after I finished watching that I think I was on the computer just for a little bit and then I got off of the computer I finally got to bed by 11 or before a little before 11 last night which is really good the last thing I remember is counting that I was in the bed at 11 and i was usually in the bed at like three o'clock i've been going to bed at like 3 a.m so i was like four three and a half hours four hours ahead of what i have been doing um and then i was like the sleep fairies just came and took me i was just knocked out mm -hmm. that was me so i slept really well um i got up at 7 45 this morning and I went to Kroger. I have not been to the grocery store in almost three weeks. I wanted to get some fruit and I'm super picky about my fruit and veggies, you know, so I was just like, I have a mask. My mom made us a mask and sent us, um, sent everybody masks. So I was just like, I'm just gonna go to the grocery store. Luckily this morning at Kroger, nobody was there. It was super, it wasn't empty, but it was like, you know, everyone had their own space, so that was good. Yeah, so here I am. I'm about to finish, actually I'm about to finish getting the stuff from the car, finish my Starbucks, and then I'm going to get started on work today. So I'm super happy with yesterday. I was just in a mood. I was just in a, you know, and I'm starting to realize it's a lot of people out there who are feeling the same way and it's just hard to get going sleep schedules, but I've got to make an effort to actually change it or else nothing is going to get done in my life. 
So I have laundry to do. I'm about to put up stuff. Um, it's really just blankets and stuff. Laundry on the floor, laundry to put up. Get started on some content today. And hopefully I can kind of keep this up. So yeah, you guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.